I'm not saying this is a must craft, must go get or anything crazy like that, but I will say that this gun is very, very versatile, has a lot of good perks, and is overall a really good weapon. I am referring to the Void Slug Shotgun from the Root of Nightmares Raid, the Nessus Oblation. Go ahead and ditch your bone chiller because you will no longer need to cope with that, as we finally actually have a really good Void Slug Shotgun. Especially if you don't have a Philo, this can easily replace it. The shotgun can drop in literally every encounter in the raid except for the Mac microcosm encounter and if you're lucky obviously they will be red borders of course it can also drop from the bonus chest as well in case you need one to hold yourself over until you actually get the pattern to go ahead and craft it speaking of which let's go ahead pull up that purple and look at them real quick and as you can see we have some juicers to pick from in column three there are so many good options you can argue envious assassin repulsor brace is really good this season reconstruction a fan favorite demolitionist who doesn't like demo and then four times of charm to round it off there's like five really good perks in there take your pick of envious repulsor brace reconstruction demo four times the charm i think you're cooking with either of those and then in column four bro frenzy obviously the raid perk paracausal affinity destabilizing rounds tried and true vorpal which is always 15 percent bonus damage on special weapons and then focused fury for 20 percent more damage once you've hit half of the mag with crits and really if we were to sit here and talk about combos we could be here all day right obviously reconstruction frenzy vorpal or focus fury or paracausal affinity is going to be good same thing with demo with any of those perks four times with maybe focus fury or vorpal is going to be good or paracausal affinity and when i said this thing has some pretty good versatility it is one of the only few guns at least that i can think of that can get both repulsor brace and destabilizing rounds so if volatile flow goes away after this season you could still use a roll like that on this shotgun to make it easier on yourself getting over shields and keeping you alive just a food for thought but this is definitely one of those weapons where you you really cannot lose with what perks you put on it they're just all really good well except for dragonfly or compulsive reloader but you get what i'm saying okay there's just a lot of good perks let's go ahead and show what we actually put on our nesses in the video yeah dude this shotgun has a lot of good stuff going for it i just got a range right here fluted barrel for a little bit of extra handling along with some salt mag as well for the increased rate of fire of course you could go accurize rounds really anything i'm going to enhance reconstruction in the third column and then maybe destabilizing rounds in the fourth column but i'm going to go with enhanced reconstruction Constructing. Speaking of the fourth column, bro, you got frenzy paracausal vorpal destabilizing rounds like we said and even focus fury a lot of good options here it's really hard to go wrong but i'm just gonna go with the tried and true good old vorpal weapon and there we go i feel like this would be a weapon that you'd probably want to have multiple copies of with different rules just depending on the situation at hand let me know what you use on your main version of the shotgun if you use one if you have the pattern or anything in between what would even be between that anyways guys thank y'all so much for watching the video appreciate y'all giving me about three and a half minutes of your time that is very kind of you y'all have a good day be safe. See you on the next one.